Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be unboxing this huge box full of Harry Potter Funko Pops. And I can't wait, like it's been months since I last bought Funko Pops, so I'm really excited that this box has finally arrived and I can't wait to show you what I got. But first, if you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Angela and I make Harry Potter videos. Please click the subscribe button if you want to stay up to date about everything that's happening here on my channel. Okay, and now let's get on with it. Okay, so to be fair with you guys, this box is actually empty. I was so excited when I got this in the post that I couldn't wait to open it. Opened it straight away and kind of forgot that I wanted to film that. So um, that's why I'm trying it this way. Um, so yeah, empty box, but as you maybe can see in the background, there are all the pops now. Let me show you guys. Ta -da! So these are all the pops I got. Now I'll be showing you them one by one because I don't know if you can see them all very good and then I can give you some explanation. Now um, I didn't only get some pops, I also got vinyl figures and mystery minis. Um, those of you who have been part of my channel since the beginning know that I'm a huge fan of the uh, Funko Mystery Minis. Um, I got the uh, first and second series complete. Um, I was still missing a couple of the third series, but of course I finally got them all. So the third series is now complete as well. Um, to show you, let me show you them one by one. So the first, I, was, I think that's just this. So from the regular set, I was still missing these guys. Crabbe and Goyle. Don't ask me who is who. There was much um, discussion about it and I still don't know. I think this is Goyle and this is Crabbe. Not sure. If it's the other way around, let me know in the comments down below. Um, as you can see, they are wearing their Slytherin robes. Goyle has got a bit of curly hair, while Crabbe has got the very short kind of hair. Goyle is smiling, Crabbe not so much. Uh, so these were the two, last two I was missing from the regular series. So then there are also the Target exclusives, the Barnes & Noble and Hot Topic exclusives. And from the Target exclusive I was missing them all, so all three of them. Um, but then I got the Harry covered in flu powder or Chamber of Secrets Harry I got from um, a good friend of mine from the uh, US named Freaky Funko Friday. Um, but this time I got him as well in my post. Uh, so that's a double for me. Um, he's going to be part of the giveaway that will be explained later on in the video, like at the end of the video. So stay tuned for that. Um, that's all I can say about him, like, it's Harry uh, with his um, Chamber of Secrets uh, robes on, so uh, this is a version of Harry that we see in uh, Diagonally, so, uh, not Diagonally, Nocturne Alley. So this is the version of Harry that we see in Nocturne Alley. Uh, normally he should be covered in flu powder, but something went wrong during production and none of the Harrys have got the flu powder on them. So it's just Chamber of Secrets Harry. Now there are also two others. The very famous Lucius Malfoy and the even more famous Tom Riddle Sepia. Um, so this is a version that we see in uh, the Memories of the Diary. Um, and this is Lucius Malfoy uh, from the Chamber of Secrets movie as well, so uh, with his um, staff slash wand kind of thing and his clothes on. He kind of reminds me of the Lucius Malfoy that we see at the very end when um, Dobby gets the sock from Harry and Lucius gets very angry. So I don't know if it's that version, but it kind of reminds me of it. Now, this is the sepia version of Tom Riddle. So this is a version of him that we see uh, during Harry's memories, or during the diary's memories. But that was all of ours. Uh, yeah, and be 
because he was a one in 36, he was very much sought after uh, in this set. And I got him, so. Then there was the Barnes & Noble exclusives and the Hot Topic exclusive. I'm just thinking. Target. I know this is Barnes & Noble. Like, I ordered the case from Pop Culture in Australia and I got the 1 in 24 uh, Basil... Uh, no, 1 in 24... Oh no, the 1 in 36 Basilisk and the 1 in 12 Moaning Myrtle, but I didn't get the 1 in 24 Tom Riddle, so this is a Tom Riddle that we see uh, during the fight with the Basilisk uh, in the Chamber of Secrets, so the non-CPF version. So I was completely wrong. The Flu Powder Harry, Lucius Malfoy and CPF Tom Riddle are Hot Topic exclusive. This one, the... Um, Quidditch World Cup run Weasley is a Target exclusive. So I ordered a case from Pop Culture as well for the Target exclusives and I got the 1 in 12 um, Harry Quidditch World Cup and the 1 in 36 Hermione Quidditch World Cup but I didn't get the 1 in 24 Ron Weasley so I bought him separately. He's really cute by the way. I'm really happy with these three. I think uh, the three from the World Cup are my favourite to be honest. So again, Flu Powder Harry, Lucius Malfoy and Sepia Tom Riddle are Hot Topic exclusives. Apologies for that, something went completely wrong in my mind about that. Okay, so the Harry is a part of the giveaway that will be explained at the end of this video. So stay tuned for that. Now, let's get on to the most fun part of this video, and those are my pops. I finally got a lot of Harry Potter Funko Pops again, so my collection has grown a lot, but there are still like another 33 on my wish list. But that's with Fantastic Beasts as well, because the release of the new Fantastic Beasts Pops has been huge. Like, I can't keep up, to be honest. Uh, I don't know how people do it. If you got tips about that, let me know in the comments down below. Thank you very much. Now, first to the two very special ones. Um, and that's these two, and these two are from the San Diego uh, Comic Con Summer Convention, San Diego Comic Con, right? I think so. So this is Moaning Myrtle and Nearly Headless Nick, and, uh, and Nearly Headless, and Nearly Headless Nick. Um, and they were part of uh, San Diego Comic Con, so they are exclusive to that convention. Um, and especially Moaning Myrtle is very special because uh, she doesn't exist in any other form. Like, uh, Nearly Headless Nick, he does exist in a non-glow-in-the-dark form. So you can always buy that one if you don't... If you can't get your hands on the um, summer convention exclusive, but really happy with these. A winning myrtle is stunning. I'm kind of scared with the nearly headless neck. Um, my normal, my regular headless neck um, is kind of completely headless at the moment. So I'm kind of I'm kind of afraid that that's going to happen to this one as well. So I'm going to try and let him stay in his box so that. Um, nothing can touch him and he hopefully stays nearly headless. So that's for these guys up to the next. Oh yes. So my next Funko Pop is this Target exclusive Sepia Tom Riddle and that's why I was confused with the mystery minis because um, the sepia mystery mini Tom Riddle, he is um, a Hot Topic exclusive, but this is a Target exclusive. And he's just stunning. It's the memory from the uh, diary, as I said about the mystery mini. So this is just a bigger version of him. Really happy that I can add him to my collection. It's also the first time that I've got a box with the Target exclusive sticker on it. Normally I buy them at Pop Culture or somewhere else and they and the boxes come without the sticker, but I'm really happy with this Target sticker. Oh, let me show you. Next up is the one and famous Gilderoy Lockhart in his blue suit. I personally, I think that's his best color. Like, I do have the regular one as well in the brownish suit, but I like the blue one much and much better. 
Um, this is a Barnes & Noble exclusive. It's also the first time for me that I've got a box of the Barnes & Noble exclusive sticker on it. Normally I don't pay much attention to the stickers on the box, but I can't deny that it does give me some kind of satisfaction that I've got the real stickers this time. Um, yeah, it's Gil Gilderoy Lockhart. I have not much to say about him, so he has his cape. And yeah, it looks great to be honest. He's number 59 in the series as well, so I got number 59. 59, 60, 61 and 62 and then the last pop figure that I got he is huge let me try and cut him so my last pop figure is this basilisk he's a target exclusive as well he's huge he's six inch um, oh, but he looks so amazing oh guys he, he really gives me the creeps to be honest but those golden eyes those teeth looks amazing. He's number 64 by the way. I have no idea which number is 65. Um, 63. So I've got 62 and this is 64. I don't know which number is 63 so let me know that in the comments down below as well if someone knows because I have no idea. Maybe it's that's a gigantic Dobby. I don't know. I'm still looking for the gigantic Dobby as well. So if anyone knows where I can get it in Europe, pretty please, then let me know. It's very important to add Dobby to my collection. So this is the Basilisk. He's huge. He's stunning. Very happy with him. Okay, I'm going to put him on the back again. Now, I didn't, like I said in the beginning, I didn't only get... Funk Pops Mystery Minis. I also got two rock handies and a vinyl figure. Now, let me show you the vinyl figure uh, first. So this is a vinyl figure. Um, I've got to be honest, like, this is the first, uh, first time that I see them in real life. And I actually don't really like them that much. I um, don't know why. So that's why I've decided to add this one to the giveaway pile as well. So more about that at the end of this video. But, you know, you can expect this one as well. Oh yes, and this is a Barnes & Noble exclusive as well. Um, and it's got Hermione and Ron, and Ron is his broken wand. So that's um, Chamber of Secrets as well. On the back, that is very. This is uh, very interesting about these boxes. On the back, it's got cast uh, photos, photos of the cast. So that's really pretty. But yeah, I'm not a big fan of the figures of how they are displayed. To be honest, it's like with the huge eyes, and it looks very comic. I don't know. Now. The last two items I got are rock candies. I really love rock candies. Um, for a time I wasn't sure if I was going to uh, collect them. I did then doubted if I should keep them or not. I wanted to sell them. Decided not to sell them yet. I'm now very happy with them. They've got really a nice place on my top shelf. But you can't see that. But it's right on top of here. Um, I'll make a room tour video. Um, I think around Christmas. That's I know that's still quite some time away, but I've got lots of plans first that need to happen. So okay, but back to my rock candy. Um, this one is Neville Longbottom with the sword of Gryffindor. And our dear Neville, he is a Barnes and Noble exclusive as well. Um, I'm really happy with him. He doesn't really got much dirt on his face though. I was just looking at the back side of the box and you can see a lot of dirt on his face. But I don't see that much dirt on the face of the pop itself. But maybe that's just the light. And the last one. He's very special to me because it's Sirius Black. Sirius Black is a great character, I absolutely love him. Um, and we can see him here in his prison uniform and with his little plague, no, with his little prison sign, with his prison sign. Um, 
it's it's just a great character. Um, he was the Franco Shop exclusive, I think. Yes, Franco Shop exclusive. So it was not that easy to get as well. But yeah. Now um, I know you are most of the time very much interested in prices. That's pr uh, pretty difficult because um, the mystery minis are most of them come from eBay or Facebook groups. So those prices are sometimes very crazy. Um, and I can't remember the exact price I paid for them. I know these all are all, uh, these two are around ten dollars, I think. These two were fifteen dollars. The basilisk is um twenty dollars, I think. This one was ten dollars. And this one was, I think, $15. Doesn't say a price on it. Doesn't have a price on it, to be honest. The vinyl figure was... $20, I think. Not sure about that. So, but of course, prices are always very different. Because I live in Belgium, as most of you know. So we pay a lot of shipping costs and import costs to get all the pops here. Um... That was it for this huge haul video, guys. Like, I'm already through it, so that went really fast. Okay, so that brings us to the last topic of this video. A very important topic, because it's the giveaway. Now, I'm giving these two items away. One person will be winning this mystery mini, Harry Potter, and one person will be winning this final set. So, all you've got to do is subscribe to my channel, Invite three friends to subscribe as well and leave a comment down below with your favorite Harry Potter Funko Pop and why, of course. And then send me a print screen on my Instagram account that you've subscribed to my channel and that's it. You can participate worldwide and I'll let you know by the 5th of December who the winner is. Okay, good luck to you all. Bye!